Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are recruiting Byleth on Edelgard's route. This video will also contain everything we've missed during the stream playthrough due to not recruiting Byleth, which means we get an extra recruit, a story mission, different cutscenes and obviously the Byleth ending. Before we start though a disclaimer, if you have already passed this mission on Edelgard's route, you can no longer recruit Byleth. Even though you can replay this mission, Byleth will not be added to your roster. This will mean that you have to replay Edelgard's route. In fact, this is me currently playing through the mission and through Edelgard's route again purely for Byleth's story. Now let's talk about the things that are necessary for you to actually get what you need. First you need Resonant Lightning, that is the main strategy that we're gonna need. If you don't have this, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna be able to recruit Byleth, which is uh, in fact what we're looking for, obviously. I'll just take Yuri along and... I don't know, empty sword training or whatever. Um, the battle map itself, I'm just running whatever, because I'm mostly going to run through it with Jordi himself, with my character, uh, Shaz, Shaz. I cannot remember the original name. I keep calling him Jordi, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the setup. Obviously, you can use your own setup to make this battle easier, but I'm mostly just going to run through it with my character who's level 80 and I'm playing on normal difficulty so everything is just gonna drop like flies. I'm also working on getting every class uh, maxed out so that's why I'm currently playing as a Dark Knight. <clears throat> now for those that have already played through this mission know that let us go to work. Uh, sure, Shall we'll put we you on him, oh, here, I'm putting everyone on a Jutant, a Justant, a Jusant, I don't know how to pronounce that, be because I have know. less uh, guys on the field that way, makes it easier for a later part where we are not allowed to engage with Byleth. Uh, yeah, but for people that have already gone through this mission once before, know that you can either take out the leader in the middle, or you take all the bases and then uh, recruit him to your side. We need to recruit him. This will make things, one, a lot easier, and two... Well, I think it's actually necessary, and I read two different things where one said it wasn't necessary and the other one said it was necessary. Uh, I'm gonna go with the fact that it is necessary. We need to recruit Baro Matthias. He's a scaredy cat, so it's easy. We just need to go grab all the freaking hideouts or hideout strongholds. To get that done quickly, I hate that they can get ass. Super frustrating. So we're just rushing through the bases. Uh. Edelgard and everyone else will slowly kill everything on their path. If not, it's just so be it. I just need to take specific camps for the time being. At least to make sure that we get through. I'm literally speedrunning through this section because uh, it, it's not really a challenge. We do not. We do not need to hit an S rank. We do not need to hit an A rank. We can do whatever the fuck we want, as long as we uh, get the things that we need for this mission, or mission that we get Violet to join us. Okay, uh, gate doesn't immediately open. There's cutscenes for that and stuff, but we got all the points now, which will make. Baron Matthews, whatever his name is, surrender to us. Uh, which means we can now actually continue forward. This is the moment where... So... <clears throat> English heart, or the Resonant Lightning is going to start soon. 
the Stark Resonant Lightning to actually make it work, though, we need to save our Sorcerer Engineers in a bit. I'm just opening the path a little bit at certain locations in the meantime. <sighs> you go this way, you can just sit there and do something. You go this way, I don't want them in that area. I think I'm just setting Edelgard back here because they are going to launch an attack soon. Again, this is... if you've, like, already seen... Uh, or seen Aft play through this mission, you can kind of guess how it goes. The hidden sorcery engineers. Save this one, killing the swordmaster. Nice, clean. Like I said, there I'm playing on normal. Most of the missions I'm doing on hard, purely so they can level up the characters. But uh, currently, because we need to unlock Byleth and I don't want to mess things up, um, I'm just playing this on uh, in normal mode. Just getting through it, no hard issues here and there. Exercising caution, Lin, but could you not be such a wet blanket? <laughs> Stronghold. Oh, I didn't realize how interesting Dark Knight actually was. I've only played with Ferdinand as a knight so far, and he usually uses only light magic. Move set is pretty much the same here, though, except using different elements instead of light. I haven't actually seen the dark move yet. Okay, uh, now we need to wait a little bit until that appears. Resonant Lightning, activate it. Initiate the strategy. Okay, so in a bit, Byleth is actually going to appear right after we take all the camps. And once Byleth appears, we need to make a big ass sprint ASAP towards the boss of this area without engaging with Byleth. We cannot get close to him, we cannot fight him. Just make sure that nobody gets in the way, etc, etc, and just make a mad dash for Aloise and Rotary. Aloise's reinforcements have arrived. Might you go help our soldiers in the northwest, young mercenary? Consider it done. Now we see Byleth here, right? She's gonna move towards... Ooh, am I gonna do that myself? Yeah, it's after we actually take out Yuri, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Yuri? Where the fuck are you going? Persuading Yuri real quick. I know I could send... I could technically send... Uh, uh, Ferdinand that way, but... We're not. We're just gonna do it ourselves. I'm stinky like that. I actually blocked that. Crazy. We're gonna get more cutscenes anyway, so it's not gonna happen that fast. But yeah, now we are. Now that we have Yuri. I must stop the enemy here. Byleth will decide to go on the move. We actually unlock both our paths to the other side. Due to the bridge being created. How, uh... uh because I'm purely defending, I guess. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm sending everyone that way. You guys don't need to do anything anyways. Just make sure these guys don't die. Uh... Yeah, so the bridges are unlocked. Well, 
last long trying to hold them yeah Rodrigue will be like that he uh, will get his butt kicked Byleth at this point is like I need to go and protect him but because we got Baron Matthias boom there goes Byleth's bridge the bridge I can't get back to Rodrigue. which literally forces Byleth to have to walk all the way through all the keeps onto this part. No, this is our chance to kill the Ashen Demon. There's no one to interfere. So yeah, I was like, yeah, let's go kill Byleth my first run, listening to Arvol. But that's pretty much not what you want to do. Possible. This is also the reason why I did it on the lower difficulty, because it's easier for me to actually take uh, everything out without having to be strong against them or using the right abilities and whatnot. Um, gate open. We have nothing to fear from that Why is the gate not opening? I killed Eloise too fast. Is that a thing? Oh, I was about to say. No, that's not a thing, really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I've run this mission once before in this way, and I was barely cutting it close, trying to get uh, Rogue KO'd before anything happens. <sighs> okay, so the the magic attack looks dark, at least, compared to, uh, just like the Holy Knight version. Interesting, interesting. So instead of that, we have to fight Gerald now and Byleth, or, well, Gerald, because in my case, I killed Byleth at that point already. Gerald will appear and be like, okay, we surrender, right? The here's the, here are the cutscenes. Like, we're just going to watch the cutscenes after this. Will you and your mercenaries yield? I see no other choice. Victory is ours. Friends and loyal soldiers, raise your voices loud. What can I say? You got us. You rolled right over us and took out our employer. <laughs> I know when it's time to raise the white flag. Wait, that's it? You're giving up? We faced you in battle many times, only to be bested at every turn. Yeah, you've pretty much run us out of business by now. It's not easy finding new clients in the best of times. And no matter how good our reputation is, none of it matters if we can't actually win. At this rate, I'll have to stop calling myself the Blade Breaker. In that case... Do you have any interest in working for us? The Empire? Hmm... It's true that your fighters and mine have waged many a bloody battle. But did you oppose us out of principle, or was it merely a business decision? Assuming you have no deep-seated animosity for Adrescia, I would welcome you with open arms. In the Empire, those with talent are given an outlet appropriate for their abilities. Yeah, you should join us. I mean, by now we all know firsthand how strong you are. And sure, there might be some folks here and there who have reservations about you fighting on our side. But they'll definitely come around once they see how dependable you are. What do you say? I doubt the Kingdom will have any jobs for us after all of this. No better time for a fresh start. I agree. What about you, Aloise? It might be strange working against your old knight friends. I've already made my decision. I have sworn to follow this fine captain wherever he goes. If my old allies want to come grill me over a fire, I'll just have to make myself more obscure. Oh no, Eloise. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh no. <laughs> if I don't slay my foes by the sword, I will do so by the joke. 
well, get it? They're old. They that. like that jokes. Tell us when we <laughs> God damn it. I'll go talk to the group and smooth things over. You two, stay here with the client. Got it. Thanks. Understood, Captain. Our troops will also want an explanation, so we'd better get to it. <sighs> so yeah, I find it funny because Arval has no comment on this. Also, this uh, specific cutscene, usually when you do this fight, right, there's this cinematic cutscene where uh, Byleth actually kills um, Fletcher is her sister. Brother? Jesus Christ, English is hard. Rodriguez? No, that's the guy. I can't remember names. Like, all these characters. I have so puny grin. But usually you get a nice cinematic uh, of uh, how the battle went, right? In this case, we don't. <sighs> all my loot. 16k, 4 on 43. You unlock Byleth, Silverheart class. Interesting. Yuri unlocked. Holy Knight. Gerald is a Holy Knight? That not anticipate that. And 10 Rina. Wait, we do not get to use uh, Aloise? That's kind of disappointing. So you're Gerald the Bladebreaker, huh? And I guess that More cutscenes. You guys look tougher than a box of nails. No wonder we've had our hands full. Please, make yourself at home. The Imperial Army is most delighted to welcome you into its embrace. My name is Ferdinand von Eyer. You might say I am something of a leader figure around here, as I essentially hold the entire army together. Oh no, not more strangers! <laughs> Aw, poor Bernadetta. It's not like you don't encounter strangers every time we take the battlefield. That's a good point. Wait, is it? Has anyone ever inspected you for crests before? Perhaps I might borrow you for a brief experiment. Are you having interest in a sword fight? I am curious to see the stuff of which you are made. Well, we sure got a lively crew here. <laughs> Get in there, kid. Let him show you the ropes. I suppose we didn't need to worry about bad blood. If anything, it would seem Her Majesty's path to victory just grew even shorter. Yep. By the way, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? Sorry about all this, Arval. I know you've only been giving me your powers because you want me to beat the Ashen Demon. Don't worry about it. It's for the best, right? For all my doomsaying, everything seems to be right as rain. Recruiting Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon was the right choice. I hope we still right. don't know what Arful is at this point. What's I don't know. Wrong? Feeling lost now that you don't have an enemy to chase around the countryside? I'm not lost. I know exactly what I've got to do. Win this war. I'm going to help Edelgard and my friends usher in a new age in Fodlan. Well, any snarky follow-up for that? It's hardly the first time you've mentioned it. I suppose it's a fine goal, yes. If that's what you want, then I'll just have to help you achieve it. After all, I'm your partner in destiny. I'm here for you and you alone. Okay, so before I cut up to uh, cut to the next section, uh, I want to do a little bit of chat at this point about uh, Arval and what he is, because we do not know what he is. Our mercenary friend, Shaz... Shaz... Shush, shit... Uh, Let's just call him Yordi, because I called him Yordi in this case. <laughs> um, 
he keeps getting like at least uh Hubert and Edelgard do it a lot. They say your power is similar to that of the ones that uh, slither in the dark. I still don't think that's a good name. Slither, those that slither in the dark, give them like a name or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, their powers are similar, similar, right? But we do not know what their inside is like. What is inside their head? How do they do that transformation? Uh, that our character does as well. We also still do not really know what... Uh... God damn it. What we are in this case. Let's just keep it at that. So I'm curious if we take this path further, if we get more information eventually, because we do not have the information about that. Maybe playing through the Alliance or... The kingdom will shed more light on everything as well. But this is so far everything that we know currently. Um, yeah, this is where I'm gonna do a small cut so that we jump into the next moment where we see Byleth and Gerald come into action instead of like where they weren't supposed to be or are supposed to be. In my case, they weren't there. They were dead. Or at least Pilot was sneaking in the darkness, doing sneaky things, and uh, Gerald was dead. So yeah, uh, be back in a jiffy. Okay, welcome back. So, the next stop is the story mission, The Pacification of Grim, where we can recruit Leonie. Usually, when you try to... Or, well, try to recruit Leonie, if you try to recruit Leonie after killing Gerald and beating Byleth in the mission where you can recruit Byleth, she will just call us killers and we cannot complete her quest to actually recruit her. She will just simply die on the battlefield from poisoning in this battle. Uh, so we're kind of going to go and see what happens this time around. So uh, let's just hop in. Byleth has been leveled up. Uh, everyone is just here. Uh, am I gonna keep Hubert in? Ah, uh, it's fine. We're playing on normal. I don't have to worry about anything. So let's go. This is a rescue first and foremost. We must save the townsfolk from danger, as well as the brave fighters defending. Ah. Remember, <clears throat> the perpetrators of this atrocity. So a few things have actually changed on the. Uh, world map or world map on the camp I should say when it comes to having Gerald, Eloise and Byleth party obviously you can like befriend Gerald and Byleth I've been slowly working on that uh, but yeah like I find it funny that the dialogue from your own characters also kind of change if you... Sorry? Phone rang? <laughs> um, live streaming habits. Uh, anyways, what I was saying was that the other characters actually have things to say about Byleth and Gerald joining the... Uh, army this time around and it's kind of funny usually by that point you always get that cutscene uh, where Randall gets killed by Byleth and this time around both Flesh and Randolph are still like happy and around and just chilling while in other situations they would have been like uh, Flesh would have been all angry and sad and things like that uh, so yeah, this is uh, just gonna go play through the mission mostly and uh, leave it at that. I'm just quickly murdering everything. I can probably just send people to do things to make it a little bit faster. 
Leonis not is an armored knight. I did not know that. I thought she always ended up going like holy knight or dark knight situation. Uh, this is a grappler. Begin. Petra killed that one. Citizen one saved. swapping in. Okay, good job. Not a problem. I've got this. Initiating the operation. North. Let's go, everyone. Ugh. Sweaty. My turn. Take a break. Uh, do, 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 do. Excellent. All the citizens are safe. Doubted you would come. Everybody's really proud of you. Base captain opens both gates. Question of care. Ferdinand's kill this one, Battle let's go, go this everyone. way. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Well, the others I can just let them do their own shit, because they'll wreck up kills for the S rank. Not that that one is necessary. Oh, I thought I opened both paths. Apparently not. He must be the one leading the bands. Time to go out some justice. Carry the loot to safety and be quick about it. Let it go. Out of the way. You're done. Subordinates. Begin. Those guys will die pretty easily. The double I planted turned out to be a stroke of genius. Now to take my leave while the ticket is still good. Here I go. They must learn who they're to leave this one to me. Go on him while I wait. Or clean up this camp, something like that. Wait, where's the chest? Chest's on this side, right? Is there even a chest? There should be a chest somewhere. Good bridge. Ah, oh, yeah, it's on the other side. Now we can make sure this plunder is returned to its rightful owners. Good thing we collected all those materials. Build a makeshift bridge. Quick. Bridge has been built. I'm just passing merchants. I'm not good. Try. I should have stayed a merchant. The money came easier. I've seen that rogue before. Wasn't he one of the merchants who frequented Garrod Mock? Please! Someone help me! Okay. There's a switch there. 
was not a question of can. Leave this to me. This way. Begin. The Sky Spirit initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. I don't even have anyone to counter mages. Kind of them. I go. I should send Begin. Petra over to the chest. There are still people under attack. I do have the key already, but I like I have Petra on. Petra has the ability that she can uh, open up chests if she goes the chests and doors if she goes the thief route. So I've been keeping her in party just purely for easy access to doors and whatever. Which gives me free stuff, so... I only be happy about that. I owe you my life. Thank you. So you might be able to cross more easily. Okay, great. This one. Rescued all the citizens. All the people have been saved. Now we can be returning to the task at hand. Here it comes. Out of the way. You're done. Drawbridge has been lowered. Somebody help! Please don't leave me behind. <clears throat> I've forgotten that the Dodi was somewhere around here. But orchestrating all of this is beyond his meager capability. Our true enemy is those who slither in the dark. S rank is close enough. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Few are equal to you. You must be returning with me to Bridget. We can't allow any more damage to the town. We must eliminate the monster ourselves. Okay, I think around this point is where Leonie gets poisoned somewhere. Is this poison? You cowards least your weapons. Yeah, this is where she gets Leonie poisoned. Has been poisoned. Bring her to the shelter for treatment at once. There is not we'll a keep Ferdinand on her to guard. My turn. My turn. Yeah, and around this point is usually where Leonie would like be like, Thank you. Screw you! I'd rather die than accept help from murderers! Now they just slowly go through the raw bridge that I've already opened. Oh, come on! We know this thing stronger, so we can definitely take it! Come a long way to you. This fell creature is no match for us. Again, no brawler on the team. Someone's in trouble. Think I'm gonna make it. You're gonna be just fine, Leonie. If I survive this, can I fight with you? Mm, accidentally skipped the rest of the dialogue there. Due to uh, screaming. There is always a place for a gifted ally such as yourself. This is a tricky Maybe you need to put indeed. the sound a little bit lower, but while I'm no specialist, it's too I'll late for that now. Okay, that's pretty much most of the mission. We just have to beat uh, uh, Solomon, no that stupid face tomorrow. that's in here. Solon, yeah. 
And I am the savior of this beast infested world. Yeah, I'm level fucking what 30 84? 85? There's a stand chance to be on normal. So be it. Okay, so um present itself Let's see if there's like a different ending, like a different credit scene here, or credit scene, different scene after the battle, now that Leonie joins. We have finished assessing the damage, thanks to the damage. Nothing about you. I've heard, make sure. We watch this. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is a scene. More money! Byleth with Ferdinand to A, Bernadetta to C. Okay, so we do. Oh, here she is a holy knight. What the fuck? Who, who the fuck gives a shit at this point? <laughs> Okay, guys, um, we'll cut to the next section, which is, which is most likely going to be in the second to last chapter, where the big battle will be held, and then the end of the final battle, or the start of the final battle, will be the last section. Can I shut these guys up for a moment? <laughs> so I'll be, uh, we'll be back then, by that point. So, uh, see you guys in a bit. And welcome back, everybody. We are now in the second to last chapter. The last chapter where we have to actually capture land before story or main missions. Uh, we actually got a cutscene with Gerald and most likely Byleth. So, uh, let's just continue that forward. You must really want to end this war. Letting the two of us loose on the kingdom. Quite right, Captain Geralt. We will not accept anything less than the fall of the royal capital. You and your mercenaries will be marching with us. This is not a problem, I trust. Let's just say I have a history with someone at the capital and leave it at that. But if the time's come for me to sort that out, then so be it. In any case, we're ready to go, right, kid? We'll earn our keep. Gotta say, I'm excited to be fighting with you for a change. We've been fighting with her for the entire time. So put her in the party. Second highest level character. We made some headway on the Western Front once the Empire pulled its main force back. Uh, let's what does see. It matter when their Minister of Military Affairs still holds Aryan Road? Even if we were in a position to keep throwing troops, I feel like this is still the same. But let's just watch it off, but right? If we keep digging our heels in here. Their main force will be on us again in no time. It appears they have already dealt with the insurrection at Fort Mercius. If they don't come at us from the west, they'll soon waltz right in from the east. Might I offer a suggestion, King Dimitri? Yeah. Okay. This is still the same. Um, the map is still the same. So I'm pretty sure usually when it comes to the story and a few of the dialogues, right before the first battle or after the first battle, there's a cutscene. So this is probably a giant waste of everyone's time, but... I've got an idea. They have to pull this and off. then there is a... At least in this case, usually... Like, this is me not being 100% sure. But last playthrough, there was a cutscene right before we actually... No, well, after we defeated the final uh, map on the land, right? 
with Byleth and Clogged. Mercenary Complications, Paralogue Battle. Is that a... Oh, that is a new one. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm actually gonna do that one. Uh, return to camp. So once new cutscenes appear, I'll just... I'll be back. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. And welcome back again. Right now, we're going into one of the latest battle, la latest last battles. Which should be different now that we have not had the cutscene between Claude and... Byleth. Byleth? Byleth. I can't fucking remember the name all of a sudden. Between Claude and Byleth that they are going to betray us. We will reach ALL soon. The Kingdom and Church approach from the West, and our friends in the Alliance from the East. We know their movements, so we need to assume they also know ours. This final battle will be intense and bloody, but no matter what happens, we must emerge victorious. At least it's a different cutscene. We have numbers on our side. It's not a flashy one. Though the kingdom has all of those heroes relics. That can't be good for us. Who cares about hero we relics? Must keep our eyes open and we must stay on the same page. We can't have anyone rushing ahead to fashion themselves a hero. We have more strength. I'd say things are really heating up, but that's just the ground literally burning. It's sweltering. Whose idea was it to wage a battle in this place again? I will take heat over cold every day. Cold has its way of slowing you down. I'm fine with hot or cold, so long as it's in the comfort of my own room with the door locked. Ernie. Do the words final, bloody, or battle not make you even the slightest bit nervous? Take this seriously. Show your pride as members of an army which serves the greatest empire the world has ever known. No need to get everyone worked up, Ferdy. When you dislike war as much as I do, you start to appreciate the lighter moments. <laughs> I am inclined to agree. Now, what do you say we show these adherents to the status quo a taste of true power? They don't stand a chance. To arms, then. Today we claim our victory for the good of all. Yep, that's a different battle setting for sure. Fence point captured. We want a what is a reversal begin with some enemies in allies position swapped. Nope. This one. Some in alliance wyferns, alliance sniper fusilade, and stronghold sabotage or whatever. Okay. Uh, I do not want Hubert in here. Hubert is not great. I don't like that he's here. Rather have Bernie. Bernadetta. Mm. Everything else should be fine. We don't really have to swap you two. Put Ferdy over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna adjudant most of the others, except for Caspar, because he can freely fly over lava. We're also going to set here. Okay, start battle. Oh, there is a cutscene now. It still looks pretty much the same. The Empire, the Alliance, the Kingdom, even the forces of the Church. To think we would all meet in such a cramped locale. Hold on. Does anyone actually see the Knights of Saros amidst all this? I wonder if they're not even here to begin with. Hmm. 
We strike at the Imperial Army today. Do not let the Alliance distract you. Yes, as you command. The party's already starting, huh? It's too bad we couldn't throw it for something a little more civilized. Would it kill you to be serious for once, Claude? I don't see a problem here. For the last time, Flane, I am against this. It is not too late to retreat. And for the last time, I, I intend, intend to, to fight. fight. Besides, it would seem the battle is about to begin. Okay, so this cutscene is pretty much the same. Well then, just give the command. Edelgard. Good. Our very hope depends on. I wonder if the second to last chapter's battle cutscene is different for every. Brave warriors of Adrestia. The Ouch. time has come to Faction demonstrate the rose. Empire's valor, to prove our supremacy. Any who dare stand in our way must be cut down. Now, as one, attack. But yeah, this cutscene is pretty much still the same, which is disappointing. The battle, though, is completely different. Um, initiating the operation. Here I go. No mistakes. Assign us a Judent. You're going this way because you can fly. It's Bernie's time to shine. Assign us a Judent and assign us a Judent. Wisdom and strength this day, Claude. Don't worry, our brilliant teamwork will send them scattered. Shore up our defenses, then advance on the enemy's forward position. So far as we know, the enemy level 89. Everyone else is about level 70. Wait, pardon? Oh, darn. A level, except for the guys that are in the different factions originally, they are at level 60. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. Everyone's level 17. I've heard troubling tales about Fargus' cavalry. We'll be in deep trouble if you don't take them out soon. Uh, you two here is completely fine. In the meantime, I'm gonna go for a swappy. And kick Felix's ass. Hey, Kaspar, will you, uh, speed up a little bit? Stand down, Felix. Sullivan, you're gonna go down as well. Don't worry about it. I hope you're watching, Ingrid. Today is the day I avenge you. It's not. And I'm sorry for having to kill your friends. I really wish I could not, or not have to kill anyone in this. Because I feel sad for every character. But then again, I shouldn't be playing a war game for fuck's sake. As far as doing well, they've cleaned the path. I'll, uh... Begin. Petra, you go help. 
birdie. Well fought, one and all. Already bent. Okay, never mind. Um, Begin. Instead, you're going this way, Petra. I'm sorry. I hope that means I'm going to send you from point A to point B the entire time. We can probably secure a crossing if we find a way to stop the lava. <sighs> Still improving. Still improving. Oh, that was my phone again. Ah. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. So, let's light him up. They're attacking our defensive line from afar. We have to stop them. Ferdy, how are you? Ferdy is done. There's Good no fucking job, mate. Only a matter of will. Means I can actually start assaulting here. Thanks for coming for me. That could have really gone either way there. We're short-handed enough as it is, Hilda. We both need to be more careful. Good jump, Caspar. So sure. I need to find some purple bolts. There. Talking about purple pots. Where is he? That's a bit of a waste. That's fine. Caspar, how about you go seize this? So we can... Oh, what? Didn't I kill all of them already? Oh no, that was on the other side. Um, hmm. There's not a question of can. Only a map. Leave this to me. There's not Actually, a question of can. Only a matter of will. Go this way. Petra, are you done here? Almost. Let me swap the Petra real quick. Cool. Now we send Petra this way to open the chest. My turn. That's one place to build a road. I'll try to stop them, but I can't do it alone. There's still one fucking no oh, two actually. Kill these two. It's now or never. Or one. Didn't pay enough attention. It's fine. They're dead. And then send Ferdinand this way. Take a breather. That should keep him from attacking the eastern front. So this way? Oh, move the rock. Do you can stay there if you want to. I'm not working on that. Hmm. 
Okay, that gives free reign for the others to clean up around there. Holy Knight. Should be able to push this one, right? Nope, not yet. Okay, Ferdy has cleaned up almost everything. You are gonna attack over here. Oh yeah, wait. Byleth can actually walk over floor damage. At least, I think she does. Uh, yeah, not you at least don't. Yeah, but terrain resistance class. Not a problem. I've got this. Okay. Uh, swap to Violet for her to clean this shit up. How much? We're well, kind of still lacking on kills here, game. Nice. For Ezrank. In the name of his majesty, you will perish here. I'm literally lacking like 400 kills. This is why Byleth is going to be the second character that I'm going to max out. I already have stats maxed out on uh, Shaz, my character, the main character, I guess. Well, I forgot that Flynn and uh, whatever his name was still need to appear. Only we could have used that sooner, right? <laughs> Super annoying. I'm way over my head, but I'm not letting up until it's over. Why must you hurt each other like this? You are all brothers and sisters. Ask your crazy dragon friend. With crazy dragon friend, I mean uh, Rhea. I cannot take much more. If the others would be in quite danger, if I... Sorry, Flame. Had to murder you. Flame, no more. Get to safety. Ooh, there's still an enemy here. Do have enough time, like still have like nine minutes plus ish. Kill Stealer! <laughs> My chance is dim. Field is kinda clean, yo. How many more kills? 150. I think I can get 150 more kills. At the location of uh, Dimitri.
maybe before killing uh, whatever his name is. New path has been made. Already slept everything though. I think I sent too many of my guys to do specific things, that's why I'm under the amount of kills that I need. Oops. That was not what I intended. Seventy more kills. Every last one of them will yield to me, or they shall perish. Uh, this is just a random holy night. The time has come to bring our war with the kingdom to its end. King Dimitri is keeping the empire busy. Bring over there. Seth the fucking cheater. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Begin. The sky spirit watches over initiating the operation. Okay, I murdered D Dimitri while you guys go head back in advance. I'm almost impressed. And a lion sniper, Fushilade. Take careful aim now. Don't let any of them breach the defensive line. No, they must have seen our attack coming. But I was so close to ending her. You weren't close at all, Dimitri. You know what close means? Close means that you were very, very close. And you had an entire army at your front step while your army was fucking dead. And all who prostrate themselves before it will be punished by my hand. Oh well. At least I got to see what the battle is going to be like differently. It's not that much... Nah, I take that back. It's completely different. <laughs> like, instead of just fighting... Uh, the other route is fighting both the lions and... Uh, Kingdom and the Knights of Serals at the same time. Uh, but I must live and we kill, uh, what's his name? Claude. That was the Archbishop's aid, at the end. But there's still no sign of most of the Knights of Saros. We drove off the kingdom in the central church. It's a start, but... But this war is not over. We will hunt Dimitri down and put an end to the struggle. Well, would you look at that. We won. Thanks to you. Actually, I'd say you pulled most of the weight. The kingdom and the church had a ton of grizzled warriors on their side. We would have been in real trouble without you and your mercenaries. You were pretty impressive yourself. You barely even broke a sweat out there. I appreciate the compliment, though. I'm glad we got the chance to team up like this. Me too. The war's not over yet, though. I'm hoping you'll stick around to the end. Of course. The Ashen Demon has proved a greater asset than we could have ever imagined. You must be relieved to see your gamble pay off. 
If nothing else, I'll be a lot less busy as your partner in destiny going forward. Hmm. What a thing to imagine. Okay, that was a cutscene. Scroll of Talons. I don't know what that is. Here it is. Um... Oh, that's a new... Oh. Nice. Collector. Okay, we sh there should be another battle coming up. Urgent report, your majesty. After his failed charge, Dimitri forced his way south in retreat. He has fled the battlefield. And the Archbishop's right-hand man, Sedeth, has escaped to the north. We've lost sight of him and his troops. Dimitri's the one to go after. Things will get complicated if we let him get away. We can move the fastest, so leave the pursuit to us. Just don't forget to send reinforcements, all right? I want the two of you to follow Claude. Yeah, it's figured. It's not that I don't trust him, exactly. I just want to make sure we're the ones who apprehend Dimitri. Leave it to us. Figured. Now that I think about it, there's something else to be concerned about. Where was the Archbishop? Where was the main force of the Knights of Seros? This is a completely Where different cutscene. A battle like this, yet she was nowhere to be found. No, Hubert. Let me ask you something. When the Archbishop escaped from Garrick Mach, we found no evidence of how she managed to reach this valley. She Correct? Indeed. We searched high and low, but it was only by chance that we picked up her trail in ALL. That is how we knew she had entered the kingdom. Without that clue, she would have been in the wind. Just as I suspected. What is it, Ferdinand? Is Gary Mock in danger? I fear so. There could be a secret path between this valley and the monastery that only... See, this is why Ferdinand is also high-tiered. And in that case, <laughs> he's such a smart man. Sometimes stage an attack on Garrick Mach. He might be silly with his giving it his all Hewitt, and noble shenanigans, but I will look into it. I'm certain that Ferdinand's theory is correct. We should assume this is the case and take action immediately. Of course, it is correct. Very wise of you to see that. In that case, we'll divide our troops. The main force will proceed with occupying Galatea. We'll lead the remaining third south to Garigmach and continue our pursuit of Dimitri. There's no sign of them. What are you being wrong? silent for me? Oh, nothing. Someone possessed me? The time has finally come. <gasps> what? What? We're gonna see true nature of Scarlet Blaze, the hour of vengeance. The hour of vengeance. What? Arval, whatever his name was. Oh, how I've waited for this day. The day that I kill you. Run away while you can. You're free to try, but you won't get away from me that easily. 
I'll carve out your monstrous heart and put an end to the beast dwelling within. Your destruction is everything I've ever fought for. The hell? What the hell, bro? The mercenary friend and the ashen demon. They took the lead, did they not? Hmm. Strange. It is unlike them not to report back. Ill news, your majesty. Some kind of mages have assumed a battle formation up ahead and are poised to intercept us. Mages? It must be those who slither in the dark. But how? When they lack a proper army. What the hell, mates? There's something we're not seeing. Oh, I kind of wish I could have streamed that. Your Majesty, we've sighted our missing units in the middle of the enemy ranks. And I don't understand why, but they appear to be fighting each other. And that mercenary is clearly the aggressor. Hubert. So our cell sword has finally turned, eh? I hope we can solve this without violence, but if the worst. Holy oh, shit, that's cool! You plan to kill him? But we've come all this way together. Perhaps I'm being soft, but I want to see how this plays out. Besides, we have to get to them first, and that means we That is super cool! <laughs> Leave this foul task to me, Edelgard. If our friend must be struck down, I will drop the blade quickly and with mercy. No, this task falls on my shoulders alone. Everyone stay on guard. We have no idea what's waiting for us. Seriously, no? <laughs> what the fuck? Where's Byleth? Byleth is here, right? At least she's... Okay, I'm level 51, that's fine. <laughs> uh, good thing that I at least, like, gave everyone a bit of goodies. Jesus Christ. Um... I think I'm playing as Petra, yeah. I think this is a fine suit-up. <laughs> I will hunt you. Okay, uh, Bernadetta. I'm gonna help, okay? Oh, if I must. This will be easy. <sighs> Let us go to work. Shall we join? Shit. On one point, I, I, I expected something like this. On the other hand, I was like, what the fuck just happened, mate? Am I gonna send you guys to do things, or am I gonna let you... No I'll send one guy to do something and the rest can go... Do whatever the fuck they want. So that we do get the amount of kills that we need. Because I need... Oh, wait, seven minutes? And it's pretty much just a... Uh... See how those beasts crawl to the slaughter. Let me put you out of your misery, beasts. Can I open this yet? No. I 
do miss the OP-ness of my character, though. It's not really that great. I can't believe Arvold played us like that, yo! Defeat Yordi. Must move us away from all of these foolish distractions. Did he just really? What? They warped away. Better than waste our time running in circles. We should direct some units to move in, while others lie in wait. Why did you insist on interfering? That would be more of a fight than I expected. Deploy the reserves. Where did he go? These fresh soldiers must be dealt with. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Begin. I am advancing. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. See, knights. Is that something? No, not for Edelgard. That is, um... Petra. That mercenaries? No, it cannot be! How much HP does... Obviously. This is why we have Petra, by the way, so that I can open chests without having to work my ass off getting the... What's it called again? The key. Here I go. No Edelgard uh, can handle this, Edelgard. Skipping with her, by the way. We must first remove the soldiers who block our path. I'm all right. Let's do with this Petra. Still haven't actually changed Caspar Musa. He could. He's already maxed out on his class. He should be having a lot better moveset for arts. These are actually terrible. To Petra. Claude is relentless. What must I do to shake the man? The others should have been here by now. Something must be holding Edelgard up. Your Majesty. We sighted Claude pursuing Dimitri here in the mountains. The two of them are nearby. We need to get those who slither in the dark out of the way so we can send up. So... I could take a lesson from your persistence. Swap to 30. 
Well, um, accidents happen, I guess. Again, where the fuck did they had this time? To where Caspar is. It's no question of care. Only leave this to me. Here I go. Bias has reappeared. Jordy, am I actually dead still? Thank you. I was under attack before I even knew what was happening. It makes little sense. Still, what matters now is that you're safe. How much time has passed? Holy shit, I'm already past it? The fact that I only had such little time, it, it must have, it's definitely because I just had the wrong setup, the wrong characters with me. I can get this S later anyways. Again? I'll put in the effort if you do. We made you into the monster you are today. Do not forget that. Oh, what the fuck? We made you into the monster you are today. Do not forget that. I need to get this flesh underground. So it's true. You really are from Shambhala. <clears throat> Forgive me for the soul, but without your sacrifice, this world can never be made clean. Oh, great Zaharas, veil of night fluttering in the abyss. Wait, By what? The laws of creation, throw wide your infernal gates and swallow my foes. What the fuck? Ever thought of maybe calling it a day? <sighs> You're a fine one to ask me that. Not a moment goes by without you on my tail. Hey, you stop running, I'll stop chasing you around. <sighs> Worth a try. <sighs> it's a surprise to see you here, Dimitri. I wouldn't be if Claude would simply deign to leave me alone. As if. You're the one who put yourself in this. <laughs> we got new shit going on, guys. Wait, did we just get mega warped? The fuck is going on? The fuck is going on? Good job, Caspar. 
I'll be honest though, I really miss having my boy in here. Him not being around is like long, long battle. My race wavers at the brink of extinction. Holy shit. And so it falls upon me to reclaim this world. That what was stolen from my people might be theirs once more. Which is why I was born. Yes, Arval? I created you. The cycle of the world, the rehousing of souls. How desperately I sought this secret art. But it demanded precision. One defect, one essence wrongly transplanted, would lead to consequences most irreparable. I knew I must oversee the process myself in order to save my beloved people. When my consciousness first initialized, I was nothing. I remember the sound of water, of bubbles, the sound of a massive object slowly lurching along. I thought the noise would continue for eternity, but then... A change. Something gave way. The water began rushing rapidly. Pale shadows closed in around me. Amidst deafening sounds, I walked desperately in search of light. That was an unforeseen accident. I was sure all had been lost to the waters. It was fortunate I had created you, for you proved useful in a way I never expected. I am to become you. That's why I'm here. That's why I've been compelled to remove any obstacle in your way. Only by destroying the abomination inside the Ashen Demon can we bring salvation to the world. So you understand, then return that body you two share to me. It pains me to do this to you, but alas, all was written from the beginning. The funk! <laughs> into the chasm. Please, into the chasm. Where am, am I? I? Let's hold off on the weapons for now, okay? Probably best you don't move at all, actually. Wait, Claude. Hold on. What are you all doing here? I have the same question. It appears we've been swallowed up by some kind of strange magic. That was your doing, wasn't it? Uh... When we came to, we were sprawled on the ground here. Charming place, if you ask me. Have you truly forgotten everything? You transformed and began attacking your allies. Thankfully, we managed to knock you out and capture you. But soon you awoke and fled. Those who saw you said you were like a different person. Hmm. I guess that... Kinda rings a bell. The last thing I remember is Arval telling me to slay the Ashen Demon. At least, I think it was Arval. Arval? The voice in my head. We've known each other for a few years now. Uh, huh. Pretty out there, right? This is why I never mentioned it. And you claim this Arval suddenly decided to turn on you. I know how it sounds, but yeah. There are two things I can say for sure. The first is that Arval's magic is what dragged us all in here. And the second is that no one's in my head anymore. How can you be certain? Because I don't feel them. At least not in my mind. 
Our ball's somewhere else now. Somewhere distant. Well, that's vague. How are we supposed to make heads or tails of any of this? At any rate, you appear more like yourself again, which we can take as a positive sign. And I truly do want to believe you. At the very least, I hope you know a way out of this fathomless prison. About that. I know I said distant, but Arval's definitely here with us somewhere. If we can find them and figure out what magic they used on us, we might just be able to escape. That sounds wildly optimistic. It sure does. But considering we don't know a thing about this place, we might as well give it a shot. I'm surprised all three of them are just standing here, like, hmm, this might be for the best to, to, to forfeit the fighting for a bit. Zaros. Oh, the shit! Temporarily parted ways with everyone but Edelgard. No sign on exit. I wonder if the others have found anything. What the shit? What is this? So if we're playing Kingdom Hearts, guys, you don't know what it is, but we have to use whatever is available if we're going to make it out of here. Zaros. In Zaros, you can interact with Mysterious Distortion to make use of all facility functions. Oh, sick. Seriously? Do you have a moment? Are you sure you're alright? Uh, crap, I didn't read. Are you sure you're all right? Nothing feels off? I would prefer to avoid a scenario where you try to cut me down. Yeah. I don't know, honestly. I'm really yes. worried. Of course you are. I would be too if I were in your position. For now, let's just explore this area and see if we can find any clues. Oh boy. We're gonna be stuck here for the rest of our lives, are we? There's no way I could have seen this coming. I would have actually prepared for it if I had. Don't know where we are, but it's definitely not normal. We may never make it out. <laughs> this isn't the time for joking around. I'm not about to let myself walk away here. Bright side, I'm trapped with the most stubborn people on the planet. I'm sure we can get through this if we work together. Wait, I didn't get to talk to Dimitri. <sighs> Enough with the searching glances, Dimitri. Say what you're going to say. I was just thinking that I find it difficult to speak with you. Even now that we have the opportunity to exchange words peaceably. Too many have died for us to suddenly have meaningful heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Oh? That's not how I feel. Unless you mean you don't wish to speak with the tyrant you consider responsible for their deaths. In which case? Let's just believe what we believe, accept that our paths have diverged, and see this through to the very end. You're placing words in my mouth. Still, I suppose that does cut to the heart of the matter. I will not claim that all my choices were right, but I accept responsibility for them. I made them carefully and with full knowledge of the consequences. And I'd like to think I can say the same. But this is unproductive. We need to get out of here. Fair enough. But first, answer me this. Do you know what became of your mother and Selma? Why would I? Someone told me that you would know how she met her end. Although I suspect that was nothing more than the dying ravings of a madwoman. It was. I haven't seen my mother since I was a child. It would have been right before she was exiled. You would know what happened better than I. I suppose so. Regardless, thank you for answering. Now, shall we get back to finding our way out? What is the connection between her mom and Dimitri? I thought she uh, 
That was quite the tremor. <laughs> Whatever this place is, I find myself liking it less by the moment. That scream was not a scream to, uh... Yes, thank <laughs> Perhaps we can put our differences aside. If only for the moment. The hostilities will do us no good. Th that, that scream was not a scream of like, oh, there is a tremor. I can agree to that. <laughs> you know, I just remembered something from back when I was but a child. I had fallen to the ground and was met with a kind hand reaching out to help me up. I took it without thinking, without even looking first to see who it was. I suppose that shows you how much I've grown. Uh, uh. Dimitri, what is it? I have a similar memory. One of helping a little girl who had fallen in the dirt. Connections. Such occurrences would have been commonplace in your youth. Don't try to imply we share a memory. No, I rarely forget an important face. Often to my own woe, I might add. Enough. Let us end this before we both make greater fools of ourselves. We need to escape. That's our only priority. You guys are talking too long. I'm trying to find an exit here, but you guys are Aildard, talking. I... What are you doing? You should know I won't hesitate to leave you behind. Indeed. I'm coming, Elf. Wow. The fuck was that? I wonder. It's strange to fight alongside those who would otherwise be my mortal enemies, however. No choice but to cooperate. I shall do what I can to help. Mm. Having such a formidable flow on our side, even if it's mm. temporary. Yes, we have a truce until we can make our escape. So I'm at your service. Turn to my compatriots as soon as possible. Let us see if we can find a way out of here. Oh, well, now Edelgard and Claude are having a chat. More information. I say, this isn't how I imagined Fodlin's three most powerful leaders would be coming together. <laughs> Indeed, I hesitate to even consider the look on Hubert's face right now. I don't think anyone's too worried about me, though. Vanishing without a word is kind of what I do. So much for being a reliable leader. Or perhaps it's the opposite, and your people think you're reliable precisely because you always return. It must be nice having friends you can depend on to handle important matters in your absence. And it must feel lousy to realize no one wants to do your job, Edelgard. I'm glad to see your tongue remains as agile as ever. Let's try moving our feet instead, shall we? Hey, I can do both if you want. It's definitely not an either-or kind of situation. So, Edelgard, say the four of us get out of here in one piece. What are you planning to do about Dimitri? Maybe we should join forces and take him on together. You're such a bore sometimes, Claude. And is that a serious proposal? Hmm. Well, I suppose it would be easier for me if the kingdom stuck around. After all, I get the feeling that if we divide Fodlin between the Empire and the Alliance, I'll be the one holding the short end of that stick. Our goal is to deal with Rhea and the Central Church, not to unify Fodlin. You never have been one to mince words, have you? Well then, allow me to match your honesty. It would be more convenient for me if the Kingdom ceased to exist. The Central Church has a much closer relationship with Fargus than with the other regions. Even were we to capture the Archbishop and force her to dismantle the upper echelons of the Church, it wouldn't be enough. The roots of that organization run deep. You hold on. You're just looking to capture Rhea? You're not gonna, you know, get rid of her? Is it not enough to subdue a foe and remove them from power? I'm just surprised. 
I would have expected you to be more thorough. And here I thought you wanted to pursue a peaceful solution. Hey, give me some credit. If I didn't like to rock the boat, Lester would have been swallowed up by the Empire ages ago. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. I won't go into details, but I'm definitely fighting to make them a reality. All that, and you're not planning to enlighten me? Unreliable and stingy. <laughs> I, for one, have no qualms with telling you my ambitions. I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodlin. Just Fodlin, huh? Come again? Hey, don't get me wrong. That's a goal I can get behind. That's why we're working together. But I'd be grateful if my own ambitions can be fulfilled at the end of your path of conquest. I'd like to believe that is possible. At least for now, we can work together to achieve a common goal. And perhaps someday, our pact will become a more permanent one. I hope so, at any rate. Same here. But before that, we need to find a way out of this place. <clears throat> I bet there's a section for every <clears throat> English heart. I bet there is a distortion moment for every route. <sighs> so I guess I'll have to go and deal with that and bark. Record keeper. Facilities master. How the heck are we allowed to use all of this here, though? I think I actually forgot to do something. That is kind of dumb. Yeah, there's at this point. We need more of these. This really gives me a fucking uh, Kingdom Hearts feel, yo. Embark. Yeesh. You can't tell forward from back in here. Let's try over that way, maybe? Good idea. It seems different from the rest of the void. Look out! So it failed. Has my skill degraded that sharply over the years? Arval. I have been searching for you. And look what you've brought me. The three who fancy themselves sovereigns, ruling over that abomination's wretched spawn. What unexpected luck. I do hope you are all prepared to face death this day. So this is Arvel, is it? Undo this sorcery and return us from whence we came, demon. Oh, I do not think that will be happening. But even if I desired to accede to your wishes, the great forbidden spell of Zaharas is a one-way journey. None can escape this eternal darkness. I vote we kill this thing and see what happens. Who's with me? Something tells me they wouldn't lay this trap, only to suffer the same fate as us. If this being can free themselves from this void, it stands to reason that so too can we. Then try cutting me down if you like. Sadly, what you see before you is but an illusion. I have a task to fulfill, and once it is accomplished, I shall leave this place alone. Arvo, wait! What task are you talking about? Why did you use me? And what are you trying to do here? Ah, but you are mistaken. I am not Arval. My name is Epimenides. An ordinary man who vowed to kill the beast which set the earth ablaze. 
Do you not comprehend my purpose? I must save this world and its true people. That is why I chose to pass my consciousness down through the ages. And you, you are the vessel for that consciousness. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Defeat Ephemedius. At least I am still being allowed to use my uh, strongest form. Yes. Uh, I don't like the fact that, okay, these 32, these 52, I mean, and Edelgard still level destruction. Not as high destruction as I, I am, don't know but what's going on? But I do know whoever that is needs to be stopped. And how far are you willing to go? Will you cut down your own friends to reach me? The fuck is this? Holy shit! Cruel! It must be a double. So. Completely indistinguishable from the real thing. This is vile sorcery indeed. The Emperor is before you. Deal the killing blow. You can't fool me. If it were real, you'd understand. God, no! Don't do this! I can't believe you would hurt me. I can't believe you would hurt me. I mean, how do we know for sure they're not real? Majesty, why are you consulting with the enemy? The fuck? It's done. But steal yourself. Don't know who will come next. Are we being walked away? No. Space itself is distorting around us. Wow. Our surroundings have changed. This place is so twisted, you can't even tell where you are. I'm unstoppable. Now, when might I see the real spots fly? Aren't you sad for your comrades, murderers? There it is. There is your rage. Wow, they look different. They look different. Look how cool. Sorry, I love this. I can't help it. Once a soul is imprisoned here, it is eternally severed from the real world. And I can't say it's pleasant watching my own death. Why are you helping the Emperor, you wretch? If you mourn your friends, avenge them! You're done! It's a blessing I get to face you. There is truly no one I more desire to end. Stop playing the kind soul. Everything we've ever wanted is before us, right for the taking. If you're really me, then you already know why I'm doing this. I don't like leaving my fate up to luck. Illusion or no, I must thank our adversary for letting me experience that. I just slew my twin brother. I feel like I just slew my twin brother, Jesus. That's the last 
rest of the illusions. Yeah. So it would seem. At least now we're certain they're not real. We cut them down without mercy. Take this! Again? Please tell me we're gonna find that guy this time. Yeah. What kind of? Oh, he's not even. He has a tome. He's using a spell book. Conjured uh, Sarasa. Viordi and an ally have appeared. Are you kidding me? You know, take a breather. It seems I am forced to do this myself. So be it. Come at me if you dare. Our adversary has finally run out of tricks. Time to finish this. Defeated Epimenides. This isn't over. Be gone with you. The cycle of this world must be protected. Nice cut, Senio. Incredible. Just how strong you've become. Arval. You have grown more than I ever thought possible. And yet... <sighs> I've never felt more alone. Ouch. That actually kind of hurts. What is our sword evolving? We got a mirror.
好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好。Wait, this is Edelgard's. I think isn't this Edelgard's original? From sick. Roti's owner. I'm like, uh, I don't have my camel. It's like we made it out in one piece. Are you sure about that? I still have no idea what's going on. So you can see my face. Epimenides, I suppose, has vanished, and we've been returned to where we started. Perhaps we should just consider this a victory, an ironic one, as we achieved it by working together. Fair enough. So, what happens now? It would be foolish of me to permit either of you to leave this place alive. Yet without you, I'd still be in that prison. I'm not the type to dispose of someone the moment they stop being useful. That's not my style either. Momentary truce, then? Agreed. Let's consider all debts paid. But just to be clear, I crushed you once, and I can do so again. Sorry about that, Edelgard. I put you in a pretty bad spot back there. In truth, I can't say I much expected any of this. Still, it got us talking again, and... That's got to be worth something. Well, I should be off. I hope we can do this again sometime. The speaking part, anyway. Think I'll be on my way, too. My people are probably pulling their hair out by now. Until we meet again. Come, we're leaving. If my suspicions are correct, Garrig Mok is in grave danger. We need to hurry. I also got some apologizing to do to some few people, I think. <laughs> the path forward. Scarlet Blaze. A path. A path forward. forward. The Empire somehow manages to prevail over the Kingdom and Central Church's coalition. But Archbishop Rhea is nowhere to be found. Edelgard and the others soon realize the Archbishop aims to use Alel's secret trails to lead a surprise attack on Garrick Mach. So the Empire regroups and moves to intervene. I am expecting different cutscenes after this, honestly. News, my lord. Huh? Not this one. This one is probably the same. <laughs> Church or Empire. This one is also the same. And that appears to be the current situation. The Knights of Saros Are we not gonna talk about the fact that I Nani? But now you say those who I am if they knew Well, so be it. Okay, so that's slightly not so awesome. prefer to make this as easy for ourselves as we can. I can tell you one thing. If Lord Arundel is here, I'll even let you. Yeah. If a girl. This seems to be the same thing. There's. How? No. Okay. Man, looks like. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I'm gonna put in another cut here, and once we get into the battle, because I need to do some prepping, I will continue recording. So, uh, until then. Welcome back. Okay, so this is it, the final battle. Let's see if anything changes. 
during the battle. When it comes to cutscenes and such. Thankfully, we're not too late. Count Varley is still holding strong. If the reports can be trusted, Rhea is here. And so is a mage that fits the description of Arendal, which is to say, Talus. That puts our two biggest adversaries in one place. We should deal with them here and now. I suppose this is a fateful battle for you as well. Yeah. I know my power came from those slithering jerks, and I know they tried to manipulate me. But I still have so many questions about, well, everything else. And this might be my last chance to get some answers. I hope you do, or else Hubert might spend the rest of his life distrusting, distrusting me. <laughs> After what happened in ALL, he suggested disposing of you again. <laughs> Not my favorite plan, to be honest. Looks like I'm gonna have to use this fight to clear my name. Okay, this is a new cutscene. Indeed. I look forward to it. But just so you know, you've already proven that a dozen times over. Then I'm still a few dozen short. I gotta show you what the mercenary spirit's all about. This is my first time hearing of such spirit, but I'm eager to see it in action. Okay, this is the same, but there's Enough something different time. about the cutscene itself. Everyone is in place. It's time to commence the final battle. Heck yeah, fam. We're gonna win. And for a new Fodlan. One that'll go down in the history books as the best ever. So in the final battle itself, nothing really changes except for the end dialogue. So post credits, I end up cutting most of the fight down and a small piece of me explaining because I don't go into detail about cutting the entire fight. <laughs> but this doesn't look like new ending at all. Abominable creatures. I will give you the burial you deserve. <laughs> Look it up. Then die along with it. It's going to fall this way. There's no way they could have survived that. Well then, just one thing left. Must we do this now? <sighs> but I suppose you earned it. Just this once. At last, Fodlan has been freed from that which bound it. Today marks a momentous new chapter in its history. And we shall be its authors. It is now 1183, Blue Sea Moon. The Empire has freed Garrig Mach and put the Knights of Seros and those who slither in the dark to rout. Amidst the fighting, Archbishop Rhea and Tallis both go missing. With no one to lead, the central church's influence wanes, and those who slither in the dark vanish. As the Empire and the Lester Alliance reaffirm their friendly relations, Edelgard oh, that's new. prepares for her final battle with the kingdom, determined to see her vision made real.
How sweet. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of it. We have now completed one ending entirely. Or one ending. We have completed one house entirely. Both the Byleth route and the non byleth route. Uh, most likely, I am going to do the same thing for the Blue Lions and the Golden Deer. We'll be playing uh, through the game, most likely on stream, for the Blue Lions and Golden Deer. And then I'll do another one of these shorter videos where I cut everything down. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, let the credits roll for a bit and uh, just let that go. I don't know exactly when we're going to be uh, playing through the Blue Lions or Golden Deer yet on stream. So uh, that will be um, when that happens, honestly. But uh, yeah. Currently nothing to say. The plans are complicated. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the playthrough so far. And uh, I'll just keep on posting more playthroughs, streams on YouTube like I've been doing. And maybe I did a few videos here and there. That's that. Adios.